Welcome back to The Hive, Doctor, your beekeeping mentor. It's my job to take the guesswork out of beekeeping for you. Today we're going to be covering a piece of equipment, actually two pieces of equipment that I have combined and made into one. So it's a multi-purpose box, and that is this top box here, which is known as a Vivaldi board and also a quilting box. I'm going to show you all about it, how it operates, how to manage it, and why you should use it for your bees. So stick around. So first of all, let's talk about what a Vivaldi board is. It's a ventilated box that's designed to go on the top of your hive, underneath the hive cover. The Vivaldi board is a way for you to be able to feed your bees pollen patties in the late winter, early spring, or sugar patties of some kind. The idea is a minimal disturbance. All you have to do as a beekeeper is come remove the hive cover, take this screened cage out, put the pollen patty here, this hole offers access for the bees to come up from the deep hive body or the honey super to access that patty. Then you put this caged frame back over it and the bees can access that without getting into the box. Now we'll talk about what a quilting box is. It's pretty much the same thing. A ventilated top box sits on the very top of the hive underneath the hive cover. But it's something that you fill with cedar chips in the winter time to help keep your hive heat in so that your colony is warmer throughout the winter but because it's ventilated it allows the colony's moisture that their bodies naturally perspire to come up out of the hole and soak into the cedar chips and then the ventilated holes that you see here allow that moisture to wick away have you ever been camping and you wake up in the morning and there's condensation on the inside wall of your tent that's basically where you were perspiring overnight and it all collected on the under side of that wall. Well, the same thing happens with bees. And a lot of times bees do not actually die in the winter due to cold per se. They die because of the moisture in a poorly ventilated hive. It will collect on the t underside the top of their hive and then drip back down on them. They get wet and then they can't get warm again. And in essence end up dying from like a honeybee hypothermia. So what I've done with this piece of equipment is I've combined the two uses of a Vivaldi board for feeding those patties to your bees and a quilting box so you get two in one and a multi-purpose piece of equipment that you can manage and keep on your bees virtually year-round. Now as a Vivaldi board this box is already ready to go. All you need is the ventilated holes. You can even put them on the sides of your box. As you can see I've got one, two, three, and four. That's plenty but like I said you can always add more. A Vivaldi board and a quilting box, neither one of those need to be a very deep box. This is a shallow box. So to give you an idea, this measurement from top to bottom is three and five eighths. A honey super, a medium honey super, is six and five eighths, and a deep high body is nine and five eighths. So this is quite minimal when it comes to boxes. And it doesn't hold frames, so it doesn't bear a lot of weight. All it does is sit on top of your, your hive so that you can easily feed your bees pollen patties and sugar patties when you feel the need to at the appropriate times of year. As a quilting box this is virtually almost ready. The only thing we need to do is to add cedar wood chips to this and it would be ready to go. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you exactly what that looks like. So I have filled this with a couple of inches worth of cedar chips and cedar is good because it doesn't really mold when it gets wet or mildew. It's thin so it absorbs moisture easily but that means it also releases moisture easily. And when you fill your box with this you don't need to compact it just put it in there loosely. But make sure that you don't fill it to where you plug up the ventilation hole. It really should be to where the ventilation holes have clear ventilation access so the air can come and go freely. That way it can wick away that that moisture as needed. Now let's say that you had this on in the winter time. It's late winter coming into spring and you feel that you need to get your bees some sugar patties. You could very carefully brush away the chips to give yourself access to this screen. Lift your screen frame, set your patty down there. It's okay if it gets some wood chips on it. Just make sure that this sits flat by the time your 
you're done. And it may take a little bit of work to get that down. I can't do it with one hand, but you get the idea. And then you can just carefully cover this back up. Spread the chips evenly. Make sure that the ventilation holes are clear so they can breathe freely. And you're ready to put your hive cover back on and feel confident that your bees have what they need for survival. Now there's definitely circumstances where you don't need a quilting box per se. For example, the warmer climates like Florida. That's where I learned beekeeping. We never, I didn't even know what a quilting box was at the time until I moved to a, an area that had a good full three to four month winter time. But I have used quilting box and I have not used quilting boxes here in the Northeast Georgia mountains. And comparing the two, my hives that have quilting boxes come through winter much better and with higher populations and still have food left over than those that did not have a quilting box on them. So I highly recommend to you to incorporate a quilting box if you need it. And if you do, go ahead and make a double use out of it and make it into a Vivaldi board as well. They're both ventilated boxes. The only difference is that screened frame that you saw in the middle. If I wasn't going to use this as a Vivaldi board to put pollen patties in, I wouldn't have that screened frame. I would just take that screen and fasten it over that two inch diameter hole that you saw there in the middle bottom of this box. If this is something you think you would like to build, let me know. I'll put up a video showing each step of the way how to do this. You can even modify it yourself, make it your own. If you like this, comment below, drop me one of these, subscribe, and let your friends know. Until then, I'll see you in the next video.